Hey everybody, welcome back. We're going to do another video here on manual therapy blog to demonstrate a technique at the TL junction. It's actually an alternative technique because normally we might do TL junction and sideline where we have the person locked out from above and below because the function of this part of the spine is mainly for rotation. So when we're doing a manipulative technique in this area, we certainly want to incorporate that into our thrust. However, Say someone has a sensitive segment up above in their thorax or rib cage, and by sensitive I just mean it's not going to work well with the rotary technique in this part of the spine. So maybe they have previous surgery, maybe it's just uncomfortable or painful for some reason, so you don't want to lock from there. Also, maybe they're sensitive below with either um, disc injury or instability, different things like that. So. We have an alternative technique that we can use. It's more of a gapping technique. It's not a rotary thrust, rotational thrust, but it is a gapping technique that we can use right here. And uh, we'll demonstrate that in just a moment. But part of a quick assessment to see if there is a dysfunction at the TL junction, like we said, because it's mainly a rotational part of the spine, would be to assess that movement in, type, in a type of a pivot. So we could have a patient just fold their arms and very easily find are we at the TL junction you find the 12th rib that last floating rib and you follow it back up into the spine and then the other way to, to know if you're at the end of the thoracic spine is that the spinous processes are very small and very round versus the upper lumbar are long and flat so you can poke around and you can feel is that small and round or is it a long flat spinous process there to also guide you to find if you're in the right area. So when we do this, we can see by blocking maybe L1 or T12, maybe even T11, depending on where exactly that transition is, but you palpate along through there, and then you can have them actively rotate or passively or active assisted and check a little bit of an end feel, and then do the same thing to the other side to see are they blocked. So certainly there may, is a blockage here for him to rotate to the left. Ordinarily, like I said before, we might set him up on his right side, block above and below, do a thrust that way to improve this area here. But like I said, maybe he can't do that. Stand up for me. <clears throat> so what we'll do is employ this kind of standing gapping technique so that we don't block or we don't put any stress above or below other than gravity. And probably the best way to do that is he's gonna be facing me, I'm gonna be facing him, and his arms are gonna go over my shoulders in what I call the middle school dance uh, position here where everybody's just dancing around, uh, not, not uh, doing anything crazy to the slow songs. But you can palpate and you can find where exactly you were by following that 12th rib up again feeling for those spinous processes like that. And then, because I know it was limited rota rotating to the left, I can just do a standing pivot just by rotating his shoulders this way. I could even do side bending. Like I said, you can kind of see why this is like a middle school dance. But uh, standing pivots to help confirm where the level of uh, mobilization or thrust that I'm gonna do this technique at. And then, just like you would do a Heimlich maneuver if the person was facing the other way, uh, I'm gonna put my thenar eminence over that lower vertebrae, take up some skin slack with it, making a nice, hard, firm fist, thenar eminence over that spinous process. And then, if he starts in neutral, I can rotate him slightly to the left, and if I need to incorporate some type of side bending, I can do that too. So my other hand goes over my thrusting hand or my contact hand. Both hands are gonna be thrusting for this. And so then what you wanna make sure the patient's not doing is turning and extending their head and neck. You don't wanna give them a, a slight whiplash in the neck, but they're gonna get here. And after you gain permission, you'll have the patient take a deep breath in. And then as they breathe out, they uh, let their weight fall towards you and you're in a staggered stance so that you know you're not going to topple over with them but as they let their weight fall toward you you apply the quick thrust towards you so it's a little bit more of a straight thrust towards you as well as a slight distraction upward 
And so it would look like that. And if we're gonna do all of it together, it'd be like this. So take a deep breath in, breathe out. And so you can breathe this out, take up the slack, and a quick thrust that way. Okay, so that's a nice, easy technique. It's very gentle for the patient. Uh, you see some people, different professions, whether it's osteopathy or chiropractic, well, they'll maybe do something similar, but the patient's prone, and so you're really pressing down into their, uh, into their spine that way, and maybe somebody just doesn't like to be prone for a number of reasons. You also have other techniques seated where you're doing a lot of rotation through the spine. So again, this is a nice way to do it where you're keeping things in neutral, you're not uh, locking above or below, but you're still getting a mobilization or a thrust into that TL junction area, which is problematic on a lot of people. So then after we do that, the patient can have a seat, and then we just do our reassessment to see if we made any gains. And he's doing much better there. So, quick recap, being able to manipulate the TL junction, like I said, very problematic on a lot of patients that we see and not having to be very aggressive with our technique, whether it's below or above and locking, but still getting an effective treatment to this area. So take that, practice it, play with it, see what you think about it, tell me what you think about it. Uh, I certainly love feedback as always. If you have any questions or comments, please include them down below on the uh, webpage. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for following. If uh, you want to see anything else in particular or have a suggestion or, or a question, by all means, please let me know. I'd love to shoot any kind of videos that you guys want. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye. Pressure okay? Mm -hmm. There, so I'm going to give you a, a quick pull that way. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. So we'll take a breath in and out. Okay, so stay right there. Drop this down. I'm going to recheck.